welcome back to the third day of 12 days of thriftmas today we're gonna do three separate diys and it is all based on decorative accents so i've been seeing so many just decorative accents that you know like glittered leaves twigs feathers and they're so pretty just in vases but they are so expensive. So I decided to do three different variations to give you guys some ideas. I do have some pricing on a couple of them. So we're gonna create this one first and it is a feather accent. These actually retail for $9 each. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make more and get more bang for your buck. You are going to be needing these fake leaves that we're gonna be using as large feathers. And we were able to find this at our local craft store for $3.99. You will also be needing some Mod Podge that goes for around $7 along with some sponge brushes. We bought a huge pack of these for a dollar. And you're going to need a large variation of glitter. So the glitter goes for about $1.50 per little case, but you'll be able to use these for multiple projects and multiple accents, so you can never have too much glitter. You're also going to be needing some gold or white spray paint. The spray paint goes for $3.59, um, so those are all the materials you're going to need. What we're going to do is we are going to pretty much be using the same steps for all of these projects. We're going to cover the leaves with spray paint, so there are so many included on this one little branch. I decided to do half of them gold and half of them white. Again, this is optional if you're trying to save money. Uh, you don't have to buy both the white and gold spray paint. So I went ahead, and took these outside, let them dry, and I cut them off of the actual branch. You can leave them on if you like. So for the white, again, I am using a super fine glitter and a really, really large glitter along with a medium sized one. So you are going to grab your plates and your Mod Podge and go ahead and paint your Mod Podge onto the feather. Then you're going to sprinkle the finest glitter first along with the middle one and then the largest glitter on top of that. So make sure to flip the feather over and repeat the steps so that it looks pretty from both sides. The white turned out really pretty. I love the large iridescent glitter specks on there. And I'm also creating the gold one. So here is how the gold one looks. And I, I personally like the gold variation better just because the glitter that I found had specks of gold and silver, the largest one, and it came out really pretty. This is how they look, and they are just going to catch that light and look super pretty. So totaling up everything, the glitter, the Mod Podge, the spray paints, which you can use for other DIYs, and we are going to, but I'm just gonna take the top price that we paid for all of that stuff, and it was about, I'm rounding it up to $17, but you get six for the price of two that you would buy in the store. Uh, and I actually think they came out so pretty. They twinkle so cute in the light. I love them. So yeah, that is a big deal saver. On to the next one. So the next one I'm gonna show you guys didn't have a price on it, but I have seen um, just the literally branches decorated with glitter and they are selling them for ridiculous prices. So I literally went outside, got this branch and decorated it and I will give you guys the price right after the tutorial. You are going to be needing a branch that we literally found outside. So I went ahead and took our branch and sprayed it with gold spray paint outside, let it completely dry, and now we're gonna just do the fun part, which is add the glitter. So I would recommend placing a piece of paper or a paper plate, something underneath the glitter so you can catch it and reuse it. And we have to work in sections here because the Mod Podge will dry. So you're going to work in about four inch sections and cover the branch completely with Mod Podge. Then you're going to grab your glitter and sprinkle it on. So I'm using three different types of glitter. I'm using a very fine glitter that is very, very small for the base. Then on top of that, I'm placing a larger specked glitter. And as I continue, I am using the largest glitter last. 
I would really recommend doing this because the larger specks of glitter catch the light uh, easier while the smaller glitter specks still catch the light, but the larger ones are what really makes it glisten. So continue working up your branch and once you're done, you should have a fully glitter covered branch. I would recommend taking it outside once it's dry and shaking it or kind of hitting it so you don't have any glitter fall out in your home. So if you have the Mod Podge from the previous project, which is $7, I'm not gonna include that and the glitter, Honestly, if you have twigs laying around outside from dead branches or whatever, I would seriously just go get them and decorate them and use them for your decoration because this one is honestly, if you're doing the other one, other ones, it's it's free. Got it from my backyard. Thanks, Mother Nature. So the very last one that I'm gonna show you guys, I'm not gonna take it down because it's already on my mantle, but it is the glitter garland. It's literally just leaves with glitter on them um, and that retails in stores for $29 so we can save some money there let's get into the tutorial and I'll show you how so for the very last decorative accent I went ahead and spray painted this whole leaf garland gold and this one takes a little longer uh, in time versus the other one so you have to be really patient with this one but it looks really gorgeous in the end and you'll save a bunch of money. So same process that we used for the previous two, you're going to paint the Mod Podge onto the leaves and then speckle your glitter over that. For these, the actual leaves are removable, so you can remove them from the garland branch, which I would recommend doing just because it makes it easier to work with. Once you have finished adding all the glitter, now you just need to let them dry and place them back onto the garland then take it outside and give it a good shake because there will be some glitter that doesn't stick and you do not want that in your house. This one has got to be my favorite out of the three that I showed you guys today just because it takes up so much space, it's so full and you really could just leave this by itself on like a table or mantle and it gets the job done. So uh, we paid $8 for the leaf garland and if you guys had the glitter and the Mod Podge from the previous ones, you guys are saving so much money. I would just round it up to $10 on this garland rather than paying 30 bucks. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know by leaving a like and I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I will see you guys in the next day. Bye.